everybody. I thought I would do a tutorial of this image. These are two adorable little kids that I had the privilege of photographing. And um, so I'm just going to jump right in. I always let everyone know right away when I do um, my tutorials that I am not like a Photoshop expert. So um, there may be a lot of things you know that I don't. And so feel free to let me know um, if there's a different way to do something. I'm also notori notoriously bad at... Um, shortcuts. I just really haven't, I kind of have ADD with that. I just don't want to take the time to sit and learn them. So um, anyway, I thought that I would just jump right into this edit. Um, I did use a flash on this photo. Um, I don't remember what the settings were, but um, I did use a, a flash to add some fill light into um, the image. Anyway, uh, let's get started. Um, I'm just going to mess around with the white balance presets first and see if there's one that I like. This was what the image looked like as it was looking straight out of camera. And then um, I'm just going to see here. I actually think I like um, cloudy. I'm going to go with cloudy. And then I'm just going to go ahead and open this in Photoshop. Now, I, I don't do a lot of detail work on my tutorials just because I really, if you're anything like me, you just don't have a lot of time to watch like an hour long video. So um, I'm going to just jump right in and then the detail work I'm just not going to do. So I'm just going to give you kind of the basic rundown of how I would do this photo. The first thing I'm going to do is duplicate this layer and I'm going to do that because I want to get rid of this tree over here. So um, I'm going to go to edit transform flip horizontal and I am going to um, click on this white layer mask and then I'm just gonna take a soft black brush set at a hundred percent opacity and a flow of 100 and I'm gonna make sure that this top box here is set to black because that now represents that that's a black brush and when you have a white layer mask when you use a black brush, you erase the effect. When you have a black layer mask, um, when you use a white brush on the black layer mask, you reveal the effect. So I'm just going to erase this part of the image that I don't want in there. Like so. And I think I'm going to add back in this portion here. I overdid it. So I'm going to just click this little arrow thing right there, and that's going to make the white brush um, come out. And so if you take a white brush and you put it on a white layer mask, it puts back what you didn't want to take away, like so. Okay, um, now I'm just going to go ahead and flatten this image. And I want to get rid of these branches up here. So I'm going to duplicate the layer again. And then I'm going to take my clone stamp tool and I'm going to click option. And I'm going to just delete or clone, um, clone out these trees. I'm not overly cautious about this right now because I have a really blown out sky. So um, you can't really see the detail work or the clone work. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that. Um, I'm going to flatten the image again. I know this is probably like considered destructive editing, but um, it's just how I'm going to do it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, layer, duplicate layer, and I want to just kind of soften this image a bit. So I'm going to go to filter other high pass and I'm going to set the radius to 55. Now I'm going to hit command I on that layer and set the blend mode to soft light. And as you can see, it really softened up this image here. I'm going to create a layer mask because I don't want that effect on everything. I'm going to create a layer mask and then I'm going to take my black brush set to an opacity of 100 and a flow of 100. And oops, let me click on my brush. And I'm just going to um, remove that softness from my subjects because obviously I don't want them to be um, 
overly soft. I might just, I'm just kind of dabbing here and I'm okay with some of these edges of their clothes being part of that softness. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to create a gradient that's gonna be similar to the colors in the image. So I'm gonna to go to Layer, New Fill Layer Gradient. I'm gonna hit okay and then I'm gonna click on this gradient bar and I'm gonna click on this left-hand slider. I'm gonna click on color and I think I'm gonna pick this pink in her dress. I'm gonna see if I like that. I might drag it over just a little bit to increase the richness. And then I'm gonna click on the right-handed slider and let's click on the blue. Actually, we might try the pink again. I think we'll stick with the pink, so I'm just gonna use the eyedropper tool and pick on, um, pick a pink color here. Now, obviously I don't want this all over them, so I'm going to move this gradient. Do you see how you can move it around? I'm gonna move it to right about here, and then I'm gonna hit okay. And if you close out, um, a layer all you have to do is click on this thumbnail twice and it'll bring it back up just like that okay so I'm gonna click on the white layer mask and I'm gonna take a soft black brush I'm gonna increase the size pretty significantly and I'm just going to click over them ever so gently and then I'm gonna decrease the opacity of that layer to right around let's do 65 so there's the before and after okay I'm gonna try something I don't know if I'm gonna like it um, you know that's kind of how it is when you're editing you just kind of try things out and then say yay or nay I'm gonna create a layer and then I am going to take my elliptical or sorry my rectangular marquee tool and I'm just gonna drag it over this sky area here slightly over his head and I'm gonna hit select and mask now up here I have overlay selected because I like this red being able to show me what I'm doing and I'm just gonna feather this until I like the feather I think probably right about there Actually, I'm going to bring it up just a tad more. It's almost at 200. It's like 189. So I'm going to hit OK. And then what I'm going to do here is on this layer, this top layer right here, I'm going to click on my gradient, um, sorry, wrong one, my gradient um, toolbox. And I'm going to click here. And I'm going to make kind of like a sky. So I'm going to start with kind of a blue and then in the middle I'm going to add let's try a yellow and then here I'm going to add a pink. Let's go up here and select like this color. And then what I'm going to do is just go right down the center with my gradient tool and go like that. Now that's a little intense so I'm just going to decrease the opacity of that sky that I just created just a tad. Now I want to show you something. Um, oops, I'm going to go to select, deselect. Um, on the gradient that I just did, um, the left hand slider will put, will be the color at the top. The middle will obviously be the color in the middle and the right hand slider will be the color on the bottom. Now I don't want this so much on them, so I'm just gonna create a layer mask here. And then I'm going to click on my black paintbrush and just kind of paint that off of them. Like so. And I think I might decrease the opacity of this just a bit more. So I'm gonna put it at right around 30. And then I'm going to go to layer new fill layer gradient I'm gonna hit OK and I'm going to set my style to radial I think I said that right um, I'm gonna click on my gradient box 
and on this left hand slider I'm going to turn the slider white. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm just going to make it all white. And then I'm going to drag it up to right about there. And then I'm just going to go on this white layer mask again with my soft black brush. I'm just going to kind of tap around them and just remove a little bit of that gradient and then I'm going to lower the opacity just a tad. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually add some of that back in right about here. And then I'm going to lower the opacity just a tad. Let's try it at around 60. Okay, so for the the one of the final steps here, I'm going to um, take my elliptical marquee tool and I'm going to drag it right around my subject. And then I'm going to go to Select and Mask. And then I'm going to feather this right about there. That's at like 750 almost. And I'm going to hit OK. Now, since I have this selection just around them and there are no marching ants around the, um, the edge, if I did anything to this image, it would affect just what's inside of the circle. I don't want that to happen. I want to affect what's outside of that circle. So I'm going to select inverse. And as you can see, there are now marching ants all around. So now whatever I do on this outside portion will not affect them. So I'm going to go to layer, new fill layer, solid color. I'm going to set it to soft light as a blend mode. Hit OK. And I'm just going to mess around with the different colors in here. Um, kind of like that one. It's kind of like a grayish color. There's an orange. You can just play around with these and like determine what you like. Um, ooh, I think I kind of like that one. That's kind of pretty. So I'm going to just kind of choose this black color and then hit OK. I'm going to decrease the opacity just a little bit to right around 65. OK, great. Um, you know, I'm not sure if I like this gradient here. I think I'm going to get rid of it now that I'm looking at the picture. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this gradient that I put behind their heads. It's just not working for me right now. All right, so now I'm going to click on the layer mask where I had just selected them. And I'm going to hit Command and click on that white layer mask. And now it's made that selection again. But this time I want to work on them. So I'm going to go to Select Inverse. And now it's made that selection again around them. So I'm going to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Curves. And I'm going to bring up the center just a little bit to brighten them up. And then I'm just going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, um, color balance, and just play around with these sliders. I think for the midtones, let's add a little blue maybe. I'm going to add in some cyan. Not too much. I think I'll put it at like negative two the highlights yeah I like that I have that at like negative 16 okay so I'm gonna flatten this image now and then I'm gonna go to layer duplicate layer I'm gonna hit OK and then I'm gonna go into layer layer style and I'm gonna select a pattern overlay um, these are really fun patterns to use I'm using one called, if you just click this um, arrow here, it will bring up your different patterns. And I'm going to use one called Color Paper. And you just play around with these. And you can adjust the scale of the, um, the pattern as well as the opacity of it. You can change the blend modes to whatever you want. So it's very easy to use. So I'm just going to decrease the, um, the scale of this pattern here. I think I'm going to bring it down to, maybe we'll do 245. 
And then I'm just going to decrease the opacity a little bit. Not a ton. I'm going to put it at around 50. And then I'm going to take some of that off of their skin. So I'm going to click here and create a white layer mask. And then I'm going to take a black soft brush. And I'm just going to paint the texture off of them. Now the only thing you have to be mindful of is when you're using the color paper, paper overlays. Um, there might be a dramatic difference in the tone of your subject if you paint it off. So you just need to be mindful of that when you do that. Okay, so I think that's probably it. Now, someone told me, because I didn't know how to do this. Um, I think if you go into the actions, and then there's something where you can, history. Okay, I'm going to try this. Okay, there's the original. Now, how do I get back? I don't know if I can get back now. Um, okay, so, well, <laughs> now I'm in trouble. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, they told me if I hit the history button or something that it would take it back to the beginning, but now I think I've totally screwed up everything. Oh, there we go. Yay. Okay, got it. Okay, so thank you for that tip. Um, so here's the before. And here's the after. I'm so excited about that. See, I told you, send me your tips because I don't know a lot about like the technical side. I just know how to like add the textures and colors and that kind of thing. Um, yeah. Okay. Awesome. So here's the before and here's the after. So anyways, I hope that this tutorial um, helps you guys a little bit. Always come to my Facebook page and um, let me know if you have any questions or tips because like I said, I am not a Photoshop guru. And um, yeah, we will talk to you guys in the next tutorial.